Hey guys, it's Sean, and um, I have a lot to update about. So first, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about um, my plans uh, in the next month and um, my changes that I've experienced. So as of yesterday, well actually today, because I didn't get to take my shot until today, um, I am on my three-month marker. So it's been three months, and for the last three weeks, I've been taking um, a higher dose of 0.35 cc's, and uh, that puts me at 70, 0.70 cc's every two weeks. Uh, as far as uh, changes go, my voice has dropped considerably more. And I know that it has because, I mean, just listening to myself, obviously, and then my throat will hurt from time to time. But um, last weekend on, I believe it was a Sunday, I went to my parents' house to do laundry, and my mom asked me if I was catching a cold. And then my dad asked me if I was getting sick and that I looked tired and that I looked like crap. Um, that made me very nervous. And the only way I could actually speak to them in a higher pitched voice is if I took a swig of water before every time I spoke. That was very difficult. It was made me really nervous. Um, I didn't want to take my jacket off because um, I had a tank top on underneath and I didn't want them to see how much bigger my arms had gotten or give them a, <laughs> a better idea of how I've changed because I already feel like they're kind of looking at me funny. Um, also on Monday, so the following day before I went to see my counselor I was playing with the dogs and the older one Frankie was hanging out on the blinds sunbathing and you know I was about two feet away and I was playing with the puppy uh, Gambit and I was um, hiring my voice and lowering my voice and when I dropped it to its lowest possible tone um, I must have my voice must have dropped that night because as soon as I started to drop it to the lowest tone Frankie freaked out he jumped out of the blinds and full-on tried to attack me he was barking he was growling and I had to be like Frankie holy crap like it's me <laughs> um, and it took him a second to realize that it was me and that I wasn't a stranger trying to attack his puppy. So, uh, yeah, that really solidified the fact that my voice had dropped further. Also, later on that night, um, my girlfriend and I went to the store and we ran into a friend of ours and she had pointed out that my voice had gotten lower. Um, and then also, earlier that week on Thursday, another friend of mine had pointed out that my hands had gotten bigger or thicker. Um, so these are all noticeable changes that I am not imagining and that are actually happening and it's very cool and it's very exciting. Um, other changes that I've experienced have been with um, hair. Um, I haven't experienced more hair per se, but uh, the hair, uh, like the baby fuzz that would, or like the peach fuzz or whatever you want to call it, that would be on your chin. Uh, there are a few hairs here and there that have definitely darkened and have gotten thicker and I assume those are where the facial hairs are going to start coming in and it's pretty exciting. Um, I shave because I don't want to have random ass hairs on my face. Um, if I'm going to grow a goatee, I want to have a full goatee or a 5 o'clock shadow or something like that. Um, so for now, you know, I'm not growing any spare random, random hairs. Um, and then of course I told you guys last time that I, I shave all the time so um, as far as thickness and whatnot I haven't really seen too much of a change other than right here on my chin. Uh, other changes that I've experienced have been in my fat distribution. Um, first I know that I shared with you guys about the fat distribution on my forearms. Um, that has furthered by going from my hands all the way up to my arms. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell if I just clench or flex my fist or my arm, but I can actually see all the veins um, now all the way in my hands, all the definition um, right here in my forearms, and then all the way up I have definition. It's kind of tripping me out. Um, I actually don't like to f feel or see all the veins popping out because I start 
when I kind of rub up uh, over them, I start thinking about things being inserted into them, like needles and stuff, and it kind of makes me cringe a little bit. But when I'm not thinking of that, um, I really do like all the definition that I'm getting. I think it's great. Uh, I definitely have a lot more muscle mass um, through my shoulders, my arms, um, and my chest. Even though a lot of the fatty tissue has definitely, uh, there's there's still you know enough left to where uh, you know it's, it's very feminine. Excuse me. Um, but um, I feel like there was a small period of time where um, you know. I didn't feel like I was going to be bursting out. Like, I felt like my chest had definitely shrunk down, and I thought that was nice, and my binders were pretty comfortable. But that only lasted maybe a week or two before I noticed that um, I was starting to feel tight-fitted again, and I know it's because of the muscle that is growing uh, right here in my chest area and my upper torso all in all. And so um, my binders are getting tighter on me, and... Uh, I still feel like I have to wear them because now I feel like I'm sticking out more. And also too, when I wear my um, my old, old dress shirts that I used to have, um, I have like six of them and I can't even wear them anymore because when I put them on, I just look like, I just look chubby. Like I look fat. Like I look like I'm going to come out of my shirt and not in like, oh yeah, I'm ripped kind of way. It's It seriously just looks like I'm just fat underneath. So um, I have to buy new shirts uh, very soon. Also, um, three months, um, I'm still getting that special time of the month thing, which really sucks. Um, I, when I went to the doctor last time, though, I had the, uh, the special exam. That was fun. Not really. Um, but like I said, had to pay my dues, and then um, they weighed me, and I had put on about 10 pounds, so... I'm assuming that's all for muscle because for the most part I am, you know, I don't, uh, fat wise, I'm, I'm not that much, I don't think I've had that much more really. Um, I do think that it has distributed itself more up here though, toward my upper gut. Um, just because also, uh, also I've noticed that right here in this low, lower abdominal area I don't really have the fatty tissue that was there either, it's mostly just right here on my stomach. Uh, which is interesting. Um, I think that's it for changes uh, that I've experienced. Uh, I do want to share with you guys though that as far as being on testosterone and being where I'm at, I would say that I feel a lot more confident in myself and a lot more confident in my own presence and in my own um, mannerisms and expression. Before taking testosterone, um, I wasn't comfortable presenting myself uh, masculine, really, um, except for the parts that I really couldn't help myself with, kind of like being the tomboy and uh, out of the group kind of a thing. Like, and then again, when you hang out with a bunch of lesbians and gays, like we're all kind of you know out of place. <laughs> um, but. Uh, you know, I still really held back as far as expressing myself in a masculine form. Um, especially when I was around males, I was really afraid of putting out male energy. You know, I didn't want additional attention and I didn't feel confident in standing my own ground. And so I would always try and kind of femme it up a little bit with my personality. And that was really uncomfortable for me. And I really just didn't know any other way to deal with that kind of situation. So. Um, it's really nice to be comfortable in my own skin. Um, oh, and as far as plans for the future, 